All right, so let's go uh, inside here. Uh, this is actually about as far as I have ever gotten in the game. I briefly had a disc, but this time I'm gonna push through it. It's Maybe it'll be funny this myself. time. That's kind of weird. Let's Not it really. I mean... Yeah. Do they both only live in cities? They never heard of, like, people in the country? There. Well, he's like... He's a forest spirit, isn't he? Wow. Yes, he is. Wow. Hey, you're not gonna hit me with an axe, are you? What is it? What do you two want? I don't know, actually. Hey, you're from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? It's so cute. Well, curly oh, and everything. don't do that. You will be murdered by them. Hey, hey! That's right. There's something I want to ask you, okay? You, you, this is how you ask a favor. Sorry. Uh, do you have an Irish accent? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Have you heard of a being here named Jurak? Ah! You are literally the worst, Monica. I wonder why he got so mad. Oh, you wonder. Yeah. Don't agree with her. Okay. You done goofed. Never disrespect the forest spirits. They are heavily armed. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. I hear the furbits are crazy about grape juice. Grape juice? And we brought all this grape juice too. Now what are we gonna You're gonna do? lie to him now? If we're gonna be murdered. In, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. Yeah, we're certainly not gonna drink it because grape juice is nasty. Monica is not really uh, up there on the moral scale, is she? Non-consensual contact and lying. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of them now. Well, look at that! Three of them! Don't be so weird! They're people, man! <laughs> not like little furry animals! Grape juice, hand it over. Oh, you want the grape juice, huh? Well, it'll cost ya. <sighs> hmm, let's see. Didn't we just come here to ask a question? I've heard you furbits have a mysterious magical power to make things like houses and plants. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. Help you? You probably know there's something strange going on. The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's disappeared. At this rate, there won't be anything left in the future. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. No way! It's too much work! Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? What do you mean you don't have time for that? <laughs> He's got a point. Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Hold on, Rococo. Rococo, that's a good name. <gasps> okay, you two, I think I understand. Come on over here and have a seat. Sorry for lying, lying, lying about grape juice. Conda. Conda. This is Rococo. Rococo. And this is Tobo. Tobo, I love that name. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you two be? I'm Monica. Uh, no, I'm... Uh, I Max. forgot. Max! <laughs> you know there's something wrong with the world, right? A great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Hmm. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. Of course, I'd like to help out, but... But... To be honest... We're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. Lay it on me. What's wrong? Tell us about it. Hmm. It's a long story, but... But... It must have been about a year ago or so. One day, a beautiful woman got lost and wandered in. That's where you went wrong. 
We don't like humans too much, so we approached her carefully. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of You're right, judging by Monica. But this woman was different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. Said her name was Holly. Holly? Is that me, mother? That's my mom, isn't it? I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, but that didn't matter a bit. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the palm of her hand. Then, one day out of the blue, something happened. Holly left to search for food and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. A few days went by and still no Holly. We were so sad. It was like our hearts had been broken into a million little pieces. There was no way we could go on without her. In those few short weeks, she had become an essential part of our lives. She was part of us all. So we formed a search party to search for Holly. Oh, you're missing chaps now, huh? A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she disappeared that day. But those four haven't come back yet either. I was sure I picked the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. Goofs! So basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. Right, yeah. Besides, we're really not in a helping mood. I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. Mm. I have a proposition to me. Oh, yeah. I bet I can guess. <laughs> you want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Holly? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? So what does this Holly look like anyway? Any special features? Special feature, let me see. Must have been something. Um, uh, her hair. It was long. I think. No, wait. Maybe it was short. I think. Wait, that's it. The potato pies used to make were that great. Oh, uh, uh, we gotta find Holly. That's right. They were mighty tasty. Yeah, incredible. Huh, forget it. Potato pie? Oh. Our boy just got hit by some lightning. That reminded me of the potato pies you made for me when I was a kid. They were so warm, eating them would always cheer me up. The most delicious potato pies in the whole world. I wonder if they mean sweet potato pie? Because, <laughs> I mean, like... Could it be the holly that the furbits talked about was actually you, Mother? Just thinking that made my heart beat faster. Yeah, it's definitely her. But they must be sweet potato pie, because otherwise it'd be like a cottage pie, which is not really a pie. This was the other reason that I wanted to see the world, so that I could find you again, Mother. Even though the world had been laid waste, I had a feeling that you were out there. Somewhere. It's just beyond here. Lately, there seem to be some nasty monsters living in these parts. Watch yourselves now. Okay. Da ya. Da ya. Pew. Bye bye. Legend has it that in these woods lives a mysterious rainbow colored butterfly. Oh, yeah. And anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly never leaves the woods again. You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went and accidentally found themselves that rainbow butterfly. Just be careful not to run into that rainbow butterfly. Hmm. What do you mean, be careful? What can we possibly do to prevent it? If that happens... If that happens? Just pretend you didn't see it. Eh, I like huh? this guy. Well, whatever. Okay, we're off. Oh, take this with you, boy. 
Oh, thanks. It's the firmest favorite thing in the world, grape juice. Grape juice, right? Is that in hard quotes? <laughs> yeah, this with you. Those guys just might smell you and come running. Grape juice, which clearly says noir on it. Grape okay, juice. This is like Thanks, Digimon <laughs> with um, Nannymon drinking juice in hard quotes. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Frickin' American translations. They're fairies. Of course they drink. It's not grape juice. Okay, we're gonna uh, end this episode here because there was a lot of cutscenes, but uh, there's more cutscenes ahead, so <laughs> it's just gonna drag on if I keep going. So anyway. Uh, like and subscribe, we're going to keep plowing through at Dark Cloud 2. And uh, jump on the Patreon to support us making indie games. And have a better week than me. And bye!